I'm in my van because outside there's Australian wildlife and 300 lesbians who know me who are going to walk past. And I thought if I came into my van, then we could just proceed without interruption, maybe. Yeah, I hear the wildlife in Australia is kind of um, dangerous. Oh, well, men who carry guns in the U.S. are dangerous too, and I know which I prefer. I'm an Amazon lesbian. I live a wild and adventurous life, and people say, um, why are you so strong? And I used to say all women would be like this if they'd never been raped. And that, I had to reinvestigate that. And that was, that was like a core of my identity. My memories were so vague. But over the time, through meditation and various personal growth work, I believe myself. Like I had, to, I had, I had to work out: Do I believe myself? Do I believe this about me? I'm 74 now, and I was 37 when I recovered my memory. And the first indication was my niece who came to visit me for the um, a, a, a kind of a present, a vacation at the end of high school. And she was just being really odd when we were talking about family and old times. And I had lived away from my family then for over 15 years. And out of my mouth, completely to my surprise, I said, has my dad been touching you? And she just burst into tears and told me her story. And she had never disclosed. And from that, the, um, the idea, the memory that he had done it to me, which was why I had asked her started to percolate up from that initial conversation and so my memory was that my dad did this and then starting to try and find out what he did to me which was different to what she had disclosed I accused him of abusing them and he admitted it and said it was because he loved them. It was his way of showing love. At the age of 19, he was still feeling me up when he could. And there was a photo of it. I had a photo of him at my brother's engagement party. His hand was like all the way around me and under my arm and cupping my breasts. Now, sadly, I burnt that, and so I no longer have that photo.